me here with the Crafty Home and yeah, today I'm doing a Tuesday talk. Um, I actually got my hair cut today. Do you like it? I like it. I love it. It's so much shorter. I probably got four or five inches cut off. So I decided to film after that and then we had a contractor over. So this is going up late on Tuesday. Sorry, I'm all like, got new clothes. I feel like a new woman. Um, anyway, so yeah, today's uh, Tuesday talk is about um, viewer discretion on books. Should there be viewer discretion on books? Which I guess really it would be more like reader discretion because it's not viewer discretion. Although on graphic novels, I wish there was. So my opinion on this is yes, absolutely. And not just on like on all books, but I don't know that it should be manda mandated. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it should be like like a thing that has to be done. Like movies, you know, they have to have a rating or whatever. I think that's how that works. But I don't think it should be mandatory, but I wish that more publishers would put something on there that let me know, um, yes, this book is going to be, you know, highly graphic or have graphic parts because then I would avoid it. Um, that's not the kind of stuff I personally like to read. And on kids books or middle grade books, I would love if it said just a little warning. I actually personally go and try to find a review by somebody I trust. Um, I do that for movies. There's a Christian um, movie review, the plugged in movie review, which will break down a movie into all of its parts and um, talk about things that might that might affect you seeing it or not. And they don't necessarily say that's bad, that's good. It's just, here's how it's portrayed in the movie. Is that something you want your kids to watch? And I really appreciate that. And I wish that there was more of that for books. I really should probably like read books and write that kind of review on my blog. Hmm, that might be a good idea. Um, so that info is out there. Um, because, you know, I don't want to give my son a book. I feel like I have to read everything I give him because even books that I read when I was younger, I read now as an adult with kids of my own. And I think that's not what I want my child reading. Um, or, I, or I at least want to talk to them about it. Like Matilda. I love Matilda. I've always loved that book. But as I read it now and I think about the relationship between Matilda and her parents, albeit it's fictionalized and it's it's outlandish for a reason, but I think about my son who is 10 and is very like analytical and and exact about everything. And I think about him reading that and not quite understanding the the mode of literature that it is and and how outlandish it seems. And just seeing a girl disrespecting her parents or not obeying. And so you know, I mean, there's just things like that. There's even worse examples, um, you know, of, of a book that I will think is perfectly innocent until I read it myself and I think, I don't want my son reading that. Um, so it would be nice if there was something on a book. But like I said, I don't think it should be mandated. I think that kind of, yeah, that, I don't like that. I don't, uh, I don't like having too much government or, or, interference you know what I mean I just eh, I don't like that I don't like that thought of somebody trying to control and say you must put this on your book um I just think it would be helpful if more people did so that's kind of my view on it um it sure would be nice but I I tend to go and listen to a lot of views and if I like read a review on a book and I'm like I look on greed reads and I read not the review but the synopsis and I think Eh, that might go places I don't want it to go, then I will scour the internet, I will read a ton of reviews, I will watch a bunch of booktube videos, and I really try to do my, excuse me, I try to do my due diligence to really figure out if there's stuff in there that I'm not going to approve of. So, so yeah, that is my two cents. I would love to hear what you think about this topic. Um, if you've made a video, let me know down below. And if not, and you just want to type out in words what you think, then I would love to hear that as well. And yeah, I will chat with y'all later. Bye.